Hey, ladies and gentlemen of SMB Nation, I'm here with Matt Elledge, who was a uh, featured speaker with Canon at a product release today at Spiceworks, um, Spice World 2018 in Austin, Texas. And better yet, I found out Matt lives in Austin, so the commute's not too bad. That's not so. bad. Not bad. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, I wanted to key in on the. Uh, so you were sponsored by Canon, yep. and you have a book called The Buy-In Theory. Mm -hmm. Uh, the simple idea that changes everything. Now, first of all, I'm assuming this is up on uh, Amazon. Or, it is. Yeah. Okay, and we'll uh, put a screenshot of that up. Um, but if you could give me the fastest two minutes about what the book's about, and then I have a couple questions. Okay. So the buy-in theory is about creating buy-in inside of your organization or your team. Uh, served 26 years in the military, so yeah. I take that, and you know the military has all walks of life that come in. Yeah. So uh, we use four principles. At least I. I got it down to four principles uh, to bring all these walks of life together and get them focused on yep. one mission, right? So yep. uh, I talk about that in the book, and it helps to uh, it helps leaders, quite frankly, create time, which right. is as a leader is precious, right? Yeah. So if you can get your team working on your business, uh, then you can work on the business, right? While they're working right. in the business, right? So that's the that's the. Uh, short down and dirty sure and so I wanted to key in on a topic that's interesting to me because I've been exploring it and and uh, you know please don't be offended by the gender reference that's not my intent but sure. here, here's what I've observed uh, if, if you take uh, my 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 wife uh, I'm an entrepreneur okay okay so my wife is from a more traditional background yeah, yeah. you know the cul-de-sac in the <laughs> suburbs of Chicago uh -huh. and she still thinks I've been unemployed for about 30 years um, <laughs> And, and and so I noticed that, that she tends to worry about money. Right. Okay. And then and then I, I, I started thinking about that and then I go to my mom's retirement home. So my mom's eighty eight, she goes with the year eighty eight. And uh, my mom, uh, her floor there are no men, right? So it's all women. I mean there might be one guy out of thirty, but men tend to die younger than women. Okay. Right? Yeah. And so here's my, my half baked theory because I was really keying in on your worry conversation. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you how I've tried not to worry, but um, if, if we go back to the caveman days and women may be worried more than men because their moms to take care of the flock or take care of the babies, yeah. it obviously works because they live 10 years longer. <laughs> and so I, didn't, you, I didn't know if in your research if you'd ever broken it out by gender. Uh, and again, I mean no offense, but no, it's no. just a... It's just an interesting observation. Well, that, is, that is an interesting observation. Yeah. Um, no, I have not. Okay. Um, uh, I just generally, as a as a human race, we have a tendency to worry about the future. Right. Uh, you know, this hadn't even happened. And as I explained in my uh, message, you know, that's yeah. the gateway drug to feeling overwhelmed, well, it is. frustrating, it is. getting stuck. And yeah. When you when you're like that, then you can't create. And we're powerful creators. So. Yeah. Um, you have to get yourself out of what I call a suffering state back into a beautiful state so that you can create. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and again, I'm not sure I'm going to solve, if that if that problem goes back to our DNA, I'm yeah. not sure I'm going to solve that in one generation. <laughs> right, but, right. And, and again, it's just my own, you know, rose-colored glasses, but I will tell you this in my own life, that uh, I, I remember worrying younger, in, in the early part of my career when I was building my business, for yeah. example, I go skiing on the weekend with the family, and I was like dwelling on stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean, like yeah. just ah, uh, you know, that guy doesn't like me. Right, ah, right, right, right. He doesn't like me. I'm worried about that. Handing control over to somebody else. Right? Yeah. yeah, we start to compare uh, and, what's going on in our lives. For sure. Yeah, and then I don't know what happened, but I would say maybe the Great Recession changed my. But you know, it takes pain to change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and 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 then I realized, you know, well, you know, let's let's just pretend I only have twenty summers left, or whatever that right. number is. Yeah. So, yeah. what am I doing? Why am I worrying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Quite frankly, I mean, so the title of my message was moments, right? So right. We're here at such a short time, so why spend it, spend it in suffering? So, what you're seeing is you now have experience that hey, you know what, life's going to work out. It's going to be okay. But when you were younger, it was like. Oh my gosh, it's never going to work out, this yeah. kind of thing. So yeah. your brain will automatically start to pull up data that you have experienced in the past. Right. What we do, and when, um, what I work with people on is I try to push them forward to create the image that they want, the clarity, get clarity with what they want. Yeah. And then they just move towards it and then you just experience life. Because quite frankly, life is just a set of experiences after experience yeah. after experience, yeah. right? So enjoy it. If it's not, doesn't meet your expectation, like I said, uh, the problem's not the problem, we're the problem. 
right? Yeah. Because we're giving a meaning to a, an experience, and we have an expectation. We set an expectation. It didn't meet our expectation. So now it's like, oh my gosh, the world's going to fall apart, right? Or, hey, why didn't that work? And yeah. then you can start to track back on the decisions you made that, that got you to that point. Yeah. And now you're better for the next time you go after something. Yeah, so the book is uh, The Buy-In Theory mm -hmm. by Matt Eld Eldridge. Eldridge. Eldridge, mm -hmm. thank you. And it's up on Amazon, folks. You can see the image on the screen. And uh, thanks for letting me chit-chat with you here in the Canon booth. This yeah. is pretty cool. It is cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, thank All you. right, thank you.